been here on uh, one occasion where we went to New York here and then with the uh, airmen to lunch. And we met with uh, staff at uh, Moody and uh, had, I think, a productive um, discussion with that day. So those are two of the roles that we have in place with uh, Cornerstone and Dr. Lucy. And is uh, Cornerstone a consultant? Mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the principal, one of the principal owners is from Copley. Actually, he lives in Copley and commutes. To Washington on a critical basis, we can. Yes. So those are the two roles that we continue to have and anticipate participation in the upcoming budget. Continuing that. Uh, um, there is also
They went to San Antonio for two years, and then he decided to retire when they came back to Bible. They wanted to live here in the Well, we had those conversations with him, and he is currently working a, 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 a job that keeps it, that has him on the base on a regular basis. And so it just began to kind of develop to where if he had an interest, he would be a natural fit. He knows Moody, got a lot of good contacts in, in the Air Force and the Department of Defense. So we began to just have some discussions over about a year with him about that interest. And so he has an interest in doing that. Um, and uh, so at the same time, he's got a very good rapport with Lucy. Uh, his wife uh, has a very good rapport with Lucy as well. They have Lucy on a lot of things. So it just began to develop into a natural fit. Um, when the subject, when we first started discussing the subject, uh, Lucy uh, liked the idea herself. And so she actually contacted General Holmes, who is man commander uh, or General Holmes uh, over ACC. And word got back to us you couldn't pick a better individual. There's just no, no better than Sam Mike to be able to move into potentially that position. Same point. Mile. M I L A N. So we uh we did have some discussions with Sam. Sam had an interest in it. Uh, and so we begin to kind of say, okay, compensation type issues. Because Mark didn't do it for free and he ain't gonna do it for free. Uh, so we put together some meetings that we knew that they would have to attend um, that would be extremely important for the community um, and what that compensation on those meetings would be and so what you what we come up with initially is a shared investment from the city of Alabaster and from Lowndes County of uh, about fifteen thousand dollars each um, it's not again it's not a full-time job he's not looking for it he has a full-time job um, there are, there's just a few little bumps, like right now, he's actually in Afghanistan. Um, and so, he'll be, he'll be coming back. It's just a short stay in Afghanistan, so he'll be coming back. And be willing to pick up the rope. Well, what I want to bring this to y'all is that sensitivity we no longer have the, um, the benefit of Parker, and that being our movie support efforts. We have to look for the future about what we're going to do as time moves along. Um, and these people that move up in these progressions, uh, it does take time for them to get there. Uh, I think you would have to say that Sam has the opportunity to be on a fast track. And so I believe that it's a, a good opportunity for us. It's just to add that one more piece of that puzzle to make movie support as good as we can possibly make. But it, but it would, for the time being, it would remain involved in that, that, that shared responsibility for Lucy, Mr. Miles. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And that is it. I mean, we kind of put together a, a structure, and, and you're talking about Dr. Lucy, and Cornerstone, Long Laser, and Sam Milan are right here. We're talking about. And then they feed information that they have, they feed information down to the county manager or the city manager, and then that information is distributed out. And again, keeping in mind that, that as we all know, they get some information that's not ready to be distributed. And so there are limited communication that goes there. But the fact that we know as a community ahead of time when Moody there may be a need at Moody. It might be mission change. It might be an addition. It might also be a loss. Um, it could work in our favor to continue to be able to hedge on the rack if one comes up. So again, it's extremely important that we continue to do what we're doing in Moody support and add this one little piece with Sam Miley. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you know, you may have already detected today that I'm like, how do we measure the value of what we're getting for our money, but 
this is one of those areas that I mean, you can't put a value on what these folks are able to do for us in this day ahead of stuff to protect our community. Well, and there, but the shame is there's really no way to measure the success. I guess the success is that we can continue to fly A-10s over our head and potentially well, have 35 on that or something. Success is, is that Moody is still a viable part yeah. of this community. Yeah. Um, we lose just that one cornerstone in our community, it could set us back 20 years. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Now, are there any guarantees? No, there's no guarantees in anything out there. But again, this is another important piece of the puzzle that I feel like is the best direction that we can move in and enter into an agreement with Colonel Milan that he attend these meetings that's extremely important um, and allow him to do so. That's good work. This will be uh, an item for the budget. It meets those criteria. <laughs> Did you say the loser is most mild? Absolutely. Okay. And a matter of fact, they they have they are already having some great conversations and working together very very closely now that they've communicated with them. they did not know each other prior to correct yeah. so again this would be a short-term goal um, absolutely from the standpoint of make a matter related to future growth potential absolutely and of course it will affect the